Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for design time. I am joined, Kathy Kilborn, here at Tri-City Furniture in Auburn. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So good to see you in person, yes, Kathy. It's been a while. Morning. Yes. We are talking about carpet and pad. Does the pad underneath the carpet really make a difference? Yes, carpet pad comes a lot of different ways, and I'm sure everyone has heard of free pad. Yes. Those are the really, really thin, not very dense kind of pads, and they're really uh, going to damage your carpeting. Are there different types of padding? Yes, there are the many ways to make pad today. Um, the extruded foams, which are very, very easy to compress. Um, but, but foam pad is rated in density, and density has to do with how many pounds of pressure put on the pad causes it to compress flat. So in those free pads, you might have two pound, three pound quality foams might be 10 pound, 9 pound, 8 pound. So it takes a lot more pressure to compress that foam. And there's lots of ways to make these foams. So many of the pads today are made as a rebond. And hopefully you can see this is a lot of different kinds of foam. They recycle back from the car, car industry and furniture industry. Mm -hmm. The foam pieces that are left over, they shred it and then they glue it back together with a grid and that makes the foam but they will use specific densities so that when I step on it it doesn't go right down to the floor so Kathy how do you know which pad to select well, the important thing here is to, I feel, trust the store you're buying mm. because they want you to have quality in your carpet. And just as important as that is, the pad down under is really important. If you don't have a good density in the pad, it will actually allow for the backing of the carpet to stretch when you have a piece of furniture on it. And then you've probably seen that you get a little bit of rippling going on because the backing of the carpet is actually stretching out. Mm -hmm. the, the foam pad is designed to hold the backing of the carpet, still allow for cushioning when you walk on it, but it won't break down the backing or the, the face yarns. It gives it a little bit more cushioning to allow for that so you don't smash it down. Hmm. Are there thickness requirements, Kathy? Yes. Yeah. The um, carpet manufacturers will actually have specifications. Mm. So we talked about density. Right. There are a lot of pads out there that are only like the three and four and actually most warranties today require 6.1. So you want to know that. And some stores will say, but you need to upgrade. You know, they get you in on the free, but then yes. they want you to upgrade. I really feel that the eight pound and the nine pound pads are the best. They still give you a nice feel, but yet they won't break down the carpet yarn. And many of these new Newer pads will actually warranty on stairways and hallways, which many of the carpet manufacturers eliminate warranty on those heavy use areas. So there's so many pads out there, the free ones you talked about, the others. So how do we know that we're getting a good quality carpet pad? Well, it has to do with that density, so you'll always want to ask about that. The height factor will be less than a half an inch. I've had people in the old days ask for double pad. It gets it really squishy, mm. but it it will not hold up. So you do want to follow those specifications, and the stores know what the specifications are. Probably one of the nicest features that has been added in the last few years is a moisture barrier. Mm. Moisture barrier is on there, so if we get something in our carpet, it doesn't suck down into the foam because that's like a sponge. Mm. And if you've ever spilled something, you can clean the top. And then after a little while, it seems like it just comes back. So what's happening is it's wicking itself back up out of the foam and then coming back to the carpet. If it has this moisture barrier, it will never get into the foam. And so you always can clean your carpet. 
Well, everything we need to know about padding. Thank everything. you. Everything. There's even yeah. pure foam. So this white one is okay. not done with recycled products. Very high quality. The pink one, uh, we have lots of different features, but that's actually blended with memory foam. So it gives a nice, nice feel. Mm -hmm. And the specialty foams like memory foam do not break down. So the longevity, these will have warranties of the house rather than just the carpet. So you can actually change your carpet and not have to change the pad. Well, thank you for... Yeah. So it gives yeah. a nice mm -hmm. float yeah. and you don't just hit the floor when you walk on it. Well, thank you so Lots so of much. variables. Yes, we appreciate you taking the time and letting us in today in person. Yes. Good to see you. Sometimes yeah. you can actually buy a little less quality in carpet. Mm. But if you buy the better yeah. pad, your carpet will last better. So padding really does make a difference. Yes. It's a down under and you yeah. don't see it, but it is probably the most important feature. Okay. In person with Kathy. Appreciate thank it. Thank you for thank coming. You. Of course. And thank you for watching this edition of Design Time.